sell me this pen. Go ahead, sell me this pen. What if you were in a sales interview and someone was to say to you, sell me this pen to test your selling ability, your selling skill? How well would you respond? Would you panic? Would you stutter? Would you freeze? Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you? What if I could give you the right sales framework that you could use to respond perfectly every single time? What if I could teach you exactly what to say and how to say it, so you could convince the person that you are the perfect candidate for their sales job? What if you just want to impress your friends when they ask you the question, sell me this pen? Would you be interested? Comment below. First, the framework. It's not about selling the pen. It's how you are selling the pen. It doesn't matter what the object is. Sell me this pen. Sell me this book. Sell me this water. Sell me another pen. What the other person wants to know is how you think and how creative you are and how you think on your feet. Those are the exact qualities that the interviewer is looking for for that position. The interviewer is looking for three things. Number one, how do you manage emotions? How do you handle pressure? Can you think on your feet? Can you carry a conversation with someone who has more authority than you? Can you pivot? How well prepared are you? That's the first thing that they are looking for. The second thing that the interviewer is looking for is: Do you know how to gather information? And how do you gather information? You gather information by asking questions. I have several questions. So when they say, "Sell me this." Pen and you immediately goes into talking about features. Oh, this is a great pen and it writes very well. It tells them you are an amateur. You don't know what you're doing because you don't know how to ask questions. How do you know they even need a pen? How do you know what they're looking for in a pen? What's important for them when they are buying a pen? If you don't ask questions, how do you know you are guessing? The third thing the interviewer is looking for is: Do you know how to ask? For the sale, do you know how to close the deal? How to ask for money? Because most salespeople they are afraid to ask for money. They are afraid to close. They'll talk about features. They'll talk about terms. They'll talk about all kinds of stuff except money. When it comes to closing the deal and signing the check, they are afraid to ask for money. So the interviewer is looking for: Are you comfortable asking for the sale? Do you even know how to close? So those are the three things that they're looking for. How you actually sell the pen. So let me demonstrate how you actually sell this pen. The first answer I'm going to teach you is the idle close. So go ahead, sell me this pen. Hmm. Let me ask you a question. Who is your favorite celebrity? Hmm. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Well, this is not just a simple pen. You know, when Bruce Lee was in the hospital, when he wrote the book, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do, that changed martial art history. He used this exact pen. Do you want to own a piece of Bruce Lee history? <gasps> the second way you could sell this pen is the superpower close. Watch. You do sound pretty good, but I have one more challenge for you. Sell me this pen. If you could have any superpower, what would you want? The ability to be invisible. The ability to be invisible. You see, this is not just a simple pen. This is a superpower pen. You see the twist right here. The second I twist it, you become invisible. Now you don't see me. Now you see me again. Would you want one? I'm impressed. Damn! And the third way that you could sell this pen, which is my favorite, the high ticket close. Do me a favor, sell me this pen. Go ahead. When was the last time you bought a pen? Probably a year ago. Hmm. Was it for business use or personal use? Hmm. Personal. Personal use. And what kind of pen do you typically buy? I have some regular pen. I have some nice pens too. When you say nice ones, do you mean nice ones or really nice ones? What is the most you've ever spent on a pen? 
Mm, $200. $200. Then we got a problem here. What's the problem? This pen costs a lot more than that. Like how much more? This pen costs a thousand dollars. A thousand bucks for a pen? Are you insane? You're absolutely right. Most people don't understand the value of this pen. Do you know this pen was actually used by Warren Buffett to sign some of the most important documents in his career? This pen has history. This is a pen for a man who wants to make a statement. This is a pen for a man who wants to share incredible stories with his colleagues. Is that you? I, I want to make a statement with my pen. But you wouldn't want to spend a thousand bucks on a pen, would you? I have a thousand bucks. I don't mind. Well, if that's the case, the pen is yours. Congratulations, sold. As you can see, I have demonstrated. I'm not afraid to qualify the prospect hard. And I'm not afraid to ask questions to gather information. And I'm not afraid to state my price without justifying it. Remember, it's not about selling the pen. It is about how you sell this particular product. Your approach, your tonality, your body language, your posture. That's what the interviewer is looking for. Of course, there are an infinite amount of answers to this one question. Sell me this pen. Let me show this fuck pen. That's my boy right there. Do me a favor. Why don't you name down that napkin for me? I don't have a pen. Exactly. Supply and demand, my friend. If you finally want clarity on exactly what to say, when to say it, and how to say it, I invite you to join me for my free training by clicking the link below. I'm going to teach you exactly how to close anyone, anytime, anywhere. Go ahead and do that now.